I've, I've prepped a bunch of different canvases in different ways. This canvas is a 12 by 16. It has two coat. It's a I stretched this canvas myself. It, um, it has two coats of my homemade gesso on it, and then it has two coats of um, a blended black gesso with acrylic paint. And uh, so it's a little little darker at the bottom than it is at the top, and it's kind of, but. Um, I want to kind of paint, um, I'm going to try to paint, this is experimental, so I'm going to try to paint with oils over the top of this in a kind of a cityscape, and maybe like right here, like right in this area, maybe, maybe a little further down, we'll decide as we go, we'll put a, a railing, like we're looking off a balcony at the cityscape at night, and uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go, hey Bruce! How you doing, buddy? All right, so let's, let's get started. So Anthony's going to do a video today, too, so hot dog. Man, I, I want to go back and look at that Mars one. I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. I was out all day yesterday. All right, so I want to start off with some liquid clear. I did a video on how to make gesso the other day, and I'm going to do a video on how to make this, but it's really simple. Uh, use one part uh, linseed oil and three parts, at least this is three parts, um, uh, odorless mineral spirits. So um, if you want it to dry more quickly, then, you, hey Dee Dee, and uh, if you want it to go more, uh, dry more quickly, use four parts mineral spirits. If you want it to dry a little slower, go to two parts mineral spirits, but this should last long enough for me to to play around with this. This is really just going to kind of be a little bit of a play period here today with this painting. We might, if we have time, we might do a, do another scene. I don't know. If, I don't know if I have time. All right. Let's see. Let me get myself gathered up here. All right. So let's get some liquid clear on this on this canvas. It won't take much, it won't take long. This is really just a clear medium. It'll it'll dry fairly glossy. I mean, it does dry. But it, just to help you blend your paint. Now I have made a change this today. I moved the camera to the other side because I'm left-handed. Be nice if I actually had some mineral spirits in here. The um, I'm left-handed, and I was noticing watching my video the other day that you can't see you can't see what I'm doing with the brush very much. So uh, we're gonna move it. Now it's really funny looking at this because this canvas right here <coughs> is pretty dark, but on the camera it's got a big glare. So if that gets to be too much, y'all y'all shout out. You saw another print. Or you saw the apron. Alright. Now, so just wipe this brush out. I'm just gonna take, I'm just gonna lightly wipe this. This canvas has got a pretty good bit of tooth to it. I didn't sand it after I I did sand it when I put the first two coats of gesso on it. I sanded it with 180 grit and a 320 grit. But then I put this this all these combinations of gray and black gesso on there just to do that. All right, so the first interesting thing we're going to have to do here is come up with a color scheme that's going to work out for this. So I'm going to start off with some Payne's gray. Now Payne's gray is it's a really dark gray, and it's got a a lot of uh, a lot of blue, a lot of blue in it. So I'm just going to mix some of this up with some. I want to create. So I want to, I want to try to create at least three rows of buildings here. So I'm gonna mix this up here. Oh, it's nice and thick. This this. Uh, all right. I'm probably gonna have to use two different knives too. 
Tell you what, let me switch knives. I'm going to start off with a water knife. Otherwise, the buildings may not be. Hey, Lori. Hey, Cindy. All right, so... So I'm going to start off and we'll create some buildings in the background. So let's just... I'll tell you what, let's just come right over... I'll tell you what. Like I said, this is experimental, so you guys have to bear with me here. All right, so let's put... Pressure, pretty good bit of pressure on this knife. Let me separate those a little bit. I'll tell you what, let's switch to the large. Let's put a, let's put a fatter ability. buildings to be the same height as each other so you guys if you have any questions just throw them up there and if you have the answers you can throw those up there too hey Minoxi all right hey Carmen all right so that's looking pretty okay I think so let's just continue on with this We're just kind of building a skyline across here. Except some more paint. If I get too wound up, uh, or too locked in on concentrating, you guys speak up. Let me know if I. Let's make this a little bit wider. Well, I didn't think I'd get much paint to get across there. But it did. Alright, now let's just go in here and put a little bit of shadow on some of this. Around the edges of these buildings. That'll just give us a little bit more division there. Yeah, let's create some things that are a little bit darker. We do that. A little bit more paint's gray. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Here it is. Yeah, 
Hang on a second, guys. <laughs> Let me adjust my monitor here real quick. So, okay, so we got some background in here. Now, what we're going to want to do, let's see, let's see, what I'm going to want to do, I reckon. So now I'm going to put some buildings in front of those, but we'll come back, we'll come back on some of these and we'll put, we'll put like windows and stuff in here. So, let's start off with, let's start off with a smaller knife this time. Let's try this color. Try to take the value a little bit. This scene's going to be kind of surreal. So. We're not trying to get a whole bunch of really straight buildings in here. Hey, Carolyn. We'll darken some, we'll put some shadow, a little darker shadow in with this in a little bit. All right, let's, uh, let's see. So this is pretty much, not quite, but pretty much straight Payne's gray here. Hmm, I think we can stack that building behind another one. Hey Joyce. All right, so we're kind of playing around with some experimental stuff here, building a cityscape. And then we're, I don't know, we'll see what the rest of the scene plays out as we, as we go. We're gonna do as much of this with the knife as we can. And then we'll probably have to come back and take some of this paint back off. And we shall see. I've never tried to do this, so we'll see how it goes. And if we have time, maybe, just maybe, we'll do a, a cityscape of some kind. I mean, uh, a landscape. Later. Later in the episode. Let's bring that to right there. Now let's... It's one little overlap in these buildings to give me some depth. So I think we'll, we'll go back in a minute and put some windows in here and see if, uh, let's make that, we'll make this a little shorter. And there's, hey Leonard. Some of these buildings are gonna overlap, but that's okay because we know they're back there, right? Let's 
is a left-handed guy trying to do some right-handed artistry here. All right. So now we could. Hmm, I, I hope you can see by how this paint's going on this, that this canvas has got just a ton of tooth in it. And I'm still going to need some more paint gray. <laughs> All right, a little more. And soon I'll need a new tube with Payne's Gray. I've been sitting on this Payne's Gray for a while, so yeah, it don't matter. The only paint that's wasted is paint that gets left in the tube, right? All right. Okay, let's now, let's see. Let's... Let's try putting some windows in here. So I'm going to move to a flat. I have no experience doing this window thing. You know, we're trying to do these window things, so we'll see what, we'll see what we get here. But anyway, let's go ahead. Let's start off going this way. If you join, say hello so I know you're here. Giving your giving you your one of paint back. You're welcome. Uh, I'd love to see them. Some of my friends, I was talking to them this morning, they're like, I can't believe you're gonna do something experimental. Well, you know, it, if you watch me paint and you think that. Everything I do goes perfect. Yeah, you got a you get a big surprise. All right, so let's see. We'll leave that. We'll leave this building here. We'll darken all the windows on that one. So let's just let's put one there, one there. I don't want all these light up. Put one like right here. Maybe maybe just a couple. Like what do you want? A couple lights on in here. A couple people home. A couple people working late. Artists probably. Alright. Now, I think though, before we put them on these front before we put on these front buildings, I think we're gonna have to smooth some of that paint out a little bit. I could be wrong, but let's see. Hey Daniel. Still like lamps? I have uh, about five hundred. Um, I donate them to museums as I find places that could use them. So I'm just going to smooth this out just a little bit. We're going to try this on one building and see how this goes. So I'm just using a filbert. I'm just smoothing this down a little bit. Maybe we'll pull this building over a little bit in front of that. Like that. And pull a little bit of this paint. So we'll leave that building back there behind it. Let's see what we can do with this. So it's time we're gonna, well, let's see. Let's turn the brush. Let's put the brush flat and see what happens. Let's do it that way. I'm gonna put a third row of buildings, maybe, in front of these. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, so doing that, doing this, uh, allows us to get, the windows are a little bigger. Because they're a little closer. And let's put one like right out here. We're going to come back and put some other windows in in a minute. But we need some, yeah. So let's make these just a little bit smaller. Because the building looks like it's pushed back a little behind that. I'm going to clean this brush off. Yeah, all of those lamps are 19th century oil lamps that I've if you ever watch American Pickers, it's kind of like that. We go out, we, my wife and I, and we find them and we bring them home and we restore them, find them new homes. Yeah. 
Alright, so I think we could use a little bit more texture on this building right here. And that building goes up behind that building right there. So, alright, so let's put a couple of windows in here. So now, this is wet on wet, of course, so we have to thin this paint down a little bit before we get... Hey, Didi, you lost your chat. Oh, well, we're still here. <laughs> we're still going. Let's put some big windows back here. Maybe a couple... Oh, hey, look, let's put some small ones up here. Up in the penthouse, and then let's have maybe some down along this way. And I'm thinking the other set of buildings is going to come in somewhere. Uh, we'll figure that out. We may have we may overlap some of these windows. We'll see. Experimental, experimental. All right, let's go. Let's continue on here. So I want a little more definition on this building. So let me do something with that. Let me see what, what do I got here. So let's take let's see how let's see what ivory black will do for this. How about putting that to if I kind of put a, a bit of shadow on that building. Hmm. Alright, tell you what, first let's frame it up. I'm just framing here with a knife. Alright, so maybe that's going to be our first closer building. We'll see. We'll see. Hey, Gene! Gene won the last painting that we gave away on this stream. We'll do another one today. Everybody who's commented and everybody we see has clicked it or liked it or shared it, we'll put your name in a hat. And we'll, if you live in the United States, CONUS, Continental 48, we will just free of charge. We will send you a painting. I'll show you it to you in a minute. It's, all, it's laying over there. And then let's tell you what, let's do something a little different down here. Let's put like some small guys, like, like that. So what does that look? Is that looking kind of cityscapers to you guys? Huh? I can't. I'm sitting up close to it, so it's hard for me to tell a little bit. So we're going to let that texture stay there. So use that for separation for this. And now I think uh, while we're doing that, let's stop for, let's stop with that part for a second and let's switch to uh, let's switch to a contrasting color on the windows. And to do that. I think I'll use some, I'll put some lamp black here. Uh, lamp black's pretty, pretty powerful. So let's take some, let's take some Payne's gray for these windows back here. The ones that are further away, instead of making them black, let's just, let's clean some paint off that brush. I've got enough paint on there for 10 paints. All right, well, let's just, We'll just do that to create some contrast on those gray buildings.
What do you think? Is that working? Does it work for you guys? Let's just keep going. I'm going to go down to the palette. I'm just wiping some paint off of the brush, actually, and adding a little bit more color. I'm going to clean the brush now and change it up to a lighter color. It's looking okay? All right. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm going to do when I'm going to get up here. I think we'll probably... Hmm. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go. Let's figure this out. All right, so let's get, let's get the rest of the windows in here. I'll try to hurry a little bit because I know this for you guys. This is probably like watching the grass grow. Like watching me put a mountain in. So what we're going to try to do here? All right. So let's take right here. I'll delineate that building with a little bit of color. Here we go. There it is. I'm just going to put some of that. I'm gonna get that back off the knife. Lamp black. If you use lamp black, it is a very powerful color. It, it will it will eat up your world if you're not careful with it. All right. So let's just have one, maybe two little windows back there, and then maybe one right here, and then a couple right here. So we're going to turn the lights on in this building because it's, it's in contrast to that building back there a little bit. There we go. That looks a little better. I like that better. Then we need to contrast this building a little bit. It's a little more too. You say grass? <laughs> I don't know. Put something in there. Well, I'm gonna, I want to put a... A railing in here somewhere. So we'll do that. We'll do that in a second. Maybe if we put the railing in, we'll have an idea of like where everything else is going to sit when it's done. All right. So I don't want all those windows to line up. So let's just kind of. Might do is just brush this out and kind of make it look rain, maybe a little rainy. I saw uh, Jane do that on a painting. It was kind of kind of snazzy. And we might just bring the buildings right up to the railing. We could raise the railing higher, or we could still put another row of buildings in. All right, so let's put the dark depth put the dark out windows up here. And to do that, we will use lamp black. Then we'll decide what we're going to do about these other buildings. Alright. So let's see if this shows up okay. This lamp black's really dark stuff. It's got a lot of pigment. I'm not really trying to make these windows straight. Paintings more on the abstract side, so it doesn't need all that. Let's 
You can see how far this lamp black's going. It's really, it's powerful. Powerful stuff. It's, it's got a little bit of mineral spirits in it, so it's sticking to the paint pretty, pretty well. All right, put a couple over here. We're not too worried about this too much. All right, I got it started. So we could I'll tell you what, let's put um, I wonder if I can take that even a little bit darker. I'll tell you what, let's let's find out. If I could put another row of buildings in here, I'd be I'd be happy with that, I think. Um <laughs> Let's see though. Let's do. Let's try something a little different with these. Let's. So this is midnight black. I'm not sure it's going to be dark enough. We'll see. Let's start right here. We're not putting this in with a knife, we're going to put this in with this big old brush. We're mixing Midnight Black with Lamp Black. That's a dangerous combination, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Just mixing them on the brush. It's so quiet today. My cat's not howling. That's unusual. Usually, as soon as I get on the video, I think him and Anthony's cat have got like a network going. They're like, let's do it now. All right, that's looking okay. All right, so we got a lot of paint on the canvas at this point. So this painting's kind of inspired my daughter just went went to New York City. She's a world traveler, kind of a kid. She's a good kid. And uh, she went and saw all the sights and, and then came home and said she's washing New York City off of her. She <laughs> never want to go back. So it's just kind of unusual. She's been in a lot of places and she uh, she really, really didn't like the public transportation system. All right, so let's just kind of Come back to the windows in a second. I want to think about this railing here. So put some dark paint in here. Go with this gray. And then I want to think about so let me show you. going to show you how, much, how dark that had tinted this, but it's not really need to do that. All right, so let's take, we're just painting along here. All right, so I used up pretty much the titanium white that I had out from a week ago. Let's get some more out now. I'm going to start thinking about A little bit about some highlights. So I think I want let's start off with just let's just put we kind of got a gray sky up there, so let's just kind of
put some of this titanium white in here. Like it's kind of a maybe a wet surface down there. Just a little bit more. All right, now I think we can put those windows in. Makers. Not getting a lot of radio play today, so we must have a. thing about oil paint, it's very forgiving. Alright, so we're going to have to leave these brushed in just like I had them. But, what we're going to do... Alright, so the rim is going to have to kind of go... Hmm, let me think about this for a second. Let's, let's, let's move with this for a second. All right, so we've come forward. Wow, this sure does look a lot lighter on the monitor than it really is in real life. The, um, we're coming forward, progressively forward, and we're getting darker and darker. We've got about as dark as dark's going to get. So we're going to need to contrast against that dark. So let's put some, let's go back to this brush for a second. Let's square this building back away. I didn't work out the way I wanted it to. All right, now let's take some of this. Let's take some more of this dark. Paint it over this gray a little bit. Let's kind of let it fill in. Now I'm not putting a lot of paint on the. A lot of paint on the canvas right here because. I want something in the foreground. I don't know what yet, but if I put a lot of paint on there, it's going to be hard to, hard to make it do. All right, so let's put some, let's shift up and let's put some highlights on this. So let's, I don't want to get too crazy with highlights. It's not daytime, it's nighttime. So let's mix up some, let's go back to our Payne's Gray. And let's just, Put a few highlights on some of these buildings. Just a little bit of gray in here. Nobody's talking. All right, well, we'll keep going. It's not quite bright enough. It's not quite sticky enough. So let's just stick the highlight on one side of these things. This building here needs a little squaring off on the top. It's a little. They must have like a, a balcony garden growing up there or something. Alright, that'll work. We'll come back and put the windows in in a minute. Nothing too exciting about putting in the windows at the moment.
Well, you know, sometimes you don't know what it's going to look like till you till you do it. <laughs> we we'll see how it goes. All right, let's get some. I think I'll just take some. Where my lens go? Let's just use, use some linseed oil here and what did we do first go? Uh, da, 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 da. I'll use this flat. We're going to put the windows in. With a little bit of linseed oil. Except that's just way too dark. Let's try again. So we want the, we're gonna want this to stick. So we really lighten this up with probably 60, 70, 30 linseed oil. means we'll have to clean the brush a lot. Alright, I don't want these windows exactly lined up building to building. I don't think that would look too good. So let's just kind of move them around a little bit. Can you guys see okay? I've moved the camera this time to see if it, if you're looking in from my right, since I'm left-handed, if, if it would help you to see better. So let me know. I want you to be able to see. I have a new microphone that we're going to try on the next painting. My man Anthony turned me on to it, so it should be pretty good. So I'll tell you what I'm thinking here. I'm thinking we're gonna put this railing in, and then we're gonna set this painting down. I think I'm gonna let that dry before I try to paint the foreground in it. windows really small. Kind of ran a paint right there. Looks fine. Okay. I've got put a lot of light on this today, and it's, a little hard. it's got some glare on it for me. I think it's good for you guys, but it's glaring for me a little bit. All right. So let's put the railing in. Let's decide where the railing's going to go.
Let's mix up some color for that. Let's see. So if we come like right, all right. So let's see. Let's think about this for a second. Let's take a fan brush and blend this just a little bit. Just at least the stuff that's up close. Yeah, I think we'll blend out the stuff too. I just want to smooth this lens, this this part out a little bit. We're gonna take some paint back off with that part. All right. So we're gonna put a rail in. So now the question becomes. What's that perspective? What's that pers boy, it's a crowded city. <laughs> what I don't want to live there. What's that perspective look like? So, because depending on where we put the railing, especially if we end up like, so if we set it like down here, we'd be looking down and up. If we set it up here, we'd be looking out and over the rail. So let's just so mix kind of let's kind of lay this in here and see how this goes. I'm just doing this by eye. Hopefully it's semi-straight. Yeah, let's pull it maybe this far down. see. Getting some texture in there for right now. Gets more of some paint around. All right, and then let's take and I think I use a smaller knife for the. I want to create a set of crossbars. Too far apart. With all this dark color, it should it shouldn't take too many days for it to dry for me to get. Come back and do the rest of this. All right, so we got a railing and a little bit of street, so we're relatively high up. So now we want to lighten this foreground a little bit. So that's, and we'll, so I want that to dry. So here's what I'm thinking, maybe we could paint it like a couple be like leaning on the rail or we could be standing back here and looking out over the city. So I want to get this, I want to get this, the undertone painted lightened up a little bit so we can do that so so let's do that let that dry with the rest of it and I think we'll do that with what colors we want to use <clears throat> kind of stick to the scheme we've been using with this paint gray but Gotta be a little lighter than the railing, or the railing's not gonna show up, or we're gonna have to delimit the railing. So we'll figure that out as we go here. So let's just mix this on the brush.
Maybe we'll just leave a dark spot there. I'll tell you what, let's do. Let's just bring it all the way up to the railing. I think instead of this, instead of the top of this railing being textured like that, we'll smooth it out some. What do you say? What do you say? Well, we can do, there's other things we could do here too, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, now that we have this part, we could use this, this fan brush. No, let me use this real fan brush. This, straighten this railing out. I wish my hands didn't shake, but they do. There we go. All right, then we'll put Here's a good hint though, if you get paint on your hands, a really good thing to keep around is baby wipes. <laughs> I use Pampers baby wipes, they work really good. But I use, I've used Huggies before too, they work really good too. Alright, so let's get some dark color on here, so I've got much left of it. Let's just... I don't want to make this too straight. Okay. Maybe we'll continue on here. Let me think about it. Let me think about this for a second. Those of you who have watched me paint before know that I don't plan paintings out very much. I just go with what happens. So let's see what, what happens here. Let's do something. Hmm. Yeah, let's do all right. All right, so I think we'll press on. Let's do let me get some darker color out here. Used up most of the color on my palette, but I have an idea. It's something we can do here. Let's give it a try. So let's take a clean number one fan brush. And some midnight black, and then I've got paint here on the thing, so I'm gonna go right about let's go right about here. And we're just gonna put a tree in right here. We're kind of smushing the paint around. There's a lot of paint right there, but that's okay. And then let's put like maybe a bigger one right here. And we'll kind of smush that one in too. And we'll pick some up. We'll paint up. Now let's put another big tree right on this side. Three trees. Yeah, okay, that works for me. Alright, now, that's just the undercoat. Put some trunks on these trees. <laughs> It's a good way to mess up your cityscape. <laughs> All right. I know you guys are thinking, yeah, he's lost his mind. Yeah, probably. All right, so let's, um, hmm. Let's really, let's add some shock on this, this color. I think I'll mix up a couple different paints here. I don't know how that would come out. Let's, let's see. What does that look like? Ooh, that's bright. Alright, so I got some paint here. Let's get a little bit of. Uh, let me get a little bit of 
linseed oil on the palette. Let's put some trunks in for these trees. Do that with. I'll uh, use a filbert. I'll put a filbert brush together. We'll put a filbert to work here. So I'm gonna put. I just want to. This is really not gonna show up much on the painting, but it it'll help me to get the help me get a line in my head. Where we're, I just want to put some branches in here. Kind of. Give me an idea about this tree. This tree. Okay. So let's take, so we're going to put some linseed oil on here and we're going to drag through some of this bright red. We're going to light up this landscape hopefully. We'll start on this one, but then I think it'll be for me to clean my brush out. Let's see. No, maybe not. That's kind of okay. I don't ever want my trees to be perfect. really weird because the, the trees are actually brighter than what what you can see but all right well that's okay we're gonna carry on here so now we're gonna come with just a little bit lighter color on one side because I have ADD. So if I get sidetracked, I uh, tend to leave a brush laying around and it would have paint in it and that would be bad. So I try to discipline myself to keep them keep them clean. Now I don't have to worry about them so much. All right, let's go back to the flat brush and let's get uh, a little bit of this lighter color. Maybe a little bit lighter than that. Maybe a little bit lighter than that even. All right. Let's just kind of put some highlights on these trees. So let me move this so you guys can see it. I'm, sure you, I'm not sure you can see it exactly how it is, but we're still working forward. Can you see it okay? 
All right. So I want to put a little bit more landscape in here, and then I'll decide while it's drying whether I want to put some people in it or not. So before I do that, I'll put some more things in here. Uh, <laughs> what, else can we, what else might we put in here? Thank you, Anthony. I'm trying to think of something else I want to, might want to put in here in the front. I'm, I don't have. You guys have ever watched Anthony paint? He, he can, he can draw anything. <laughs> I don't have that skill set. I can't draw like he does. But uh, we're working on it though. We're learning. All right, so let's get, we get some more dark color back up in here. I just want to... I just want to find a clean spot on my palette. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's... Let's tap, tap. Mm. Let's go dark. Step a couple bushes in here. Maybe we should fill this up. Turned it kind of into a park scene instead of a balcony scene, didn't we? Right. Hey, Bruce. Hey, Dorothy. All right, so let's. I gotta, Let's take. I think I'm gonna take some of this red. I'm gonna take some of this cad yellow. All right. I don't think I can mix that on the brush, but we'll, so we're gonna pull out some Venetian red and some cad yellow here. Pull it off to the side. Mix it up. Mix it up some. Ooh, that red's powerful. All right. I think we will just leave it mixed like that. I'm just kind of patting it out on the knife here. Just I'm looking for I'm looking for I ain't seeing it either. <laughs> I'm looking for some Oh there we go. Just want to create these little you see I see those little Little points of paint there. It tells me I got like about the thickness that I want. We'll start up here. Well, hmm, now, let's see if there's anything else I want to do with this. I think since, you know, originally this was going to be a balcony, so I wouldn't expect there to be rain on there, but now there's, it's not. So let's put, 
Let's put a few contrasting. I'm going to have to turn this so I can't. Oh, here's the third giveaway for you guys to see it. I'm just going to add some, a little bit of contrast in here. Hopefully this will set that off a little bit more. Alright guys, I think we're going to, I think for now, we're going to call this done. See what you think. There she is. Da -da 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 -da. Well, that was fun. For an experiment, anyway. Uh, I'll tell you, my, all my experiments don't come out that good. <laughs> I'm sure, as I sit and think about this painting today, I'll think of some other things I want to do to it, or things I can do on the next version of it, which is probably what we'll do. Alright, so let me get the painting that we're going to give away and show you guys that. Oh, 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 I'm not used to that being there. Alright, so this is the painting we're going to give away. It is called Autumn Trees. It's done in acrylics, and it's varnished, so it's ready to go. And it's signed on the back. So, we'll put everybody's name in a hat that liked and shared this video, or if you and if you commented, you're gonna get you're gonna get two chances. And then uh, Gene King won won the last one, so we'll draw names in the next 24 hours, and we'll PM you, and if you will send us your Mailing address. You got to got to live within the continental United States because I have to pay for the shipping. So <laughs> the uh, but if you'll send us your address, we will we will get the painting out to you and we'll announce it here on the on the page. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys are having a great afternoon and we will see you next time. And be sure you tune in for Anthony's video coming up. Is it coming up tonight, Anthony? Is that right? I'll wait for you to answer that while I'm. Clean up my knife here. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. I'm glad you like it. Okay. Is it at 8 o'clock, Anthony? Is it 8 o'clock tonight? Alright, so you guys be sure you check out check out Andrew's video. I'm gonna have a go have a big glass of lemonade. I'll go back to watering my garden, I guess. Thanks for tuning in guys. See you next time.